Hey there guys, welcome back. Alex with you here. I have taken my roller coaster out of my city this week to work on here at my desk, uh, making some vast improvements to it that I like to show off today. And uh, one of those big changes is obviously this uh, chain here. So if I take my uh, little roller coaster cart here with these two happy minifigures and I'm just gonna put them on this little last hill here. And they roll around and they engage this chain right here. Now if I go up to this crank right here and I start to move it, you'll notice that it catches the, the uh, little cart and starts pulling it to the top. Let me go ahead and show you how this works here with this uh, roller coaster. Now the creators of this uh, track, it's uh, brickcoaster.com if you guys are curious and want to uh, purchase track, you can from them as well. Uh, but they also give you these uh, uh, little coasters that come along with it and they, they continue to improve their product and at the bottom here uh, there's a new element that they have uh, created and it's a two by six plate almost kind of a transparent uh, plastic but at the bottom here it's got these very jagged teeth and these teeth are what catch inside of these chain links so uh, when the coaster comes around you'll notice it's got that little groove here at the front of it and that makes it so that the uh, first thing that hits that chain is that first tooth it just goes there and engages that that chain and so when it starts to crank it takes it along with it as well as the uh, the coaster here's a bit of a closer view of the train coming around engages the chain and up it goes go ahead and show off the uh the chain in action here from the bottom to the top At the top of the hill, it's got a, a release point just past the very top. Let's go ahead and watch this thing go around the track a time or two. It's got enough momentum that it goes the, uh, goes the entire way around. The top here, the silence just before the screams begin. Pretty sweet. I did want to show how I made the uh, the chain work. At the bottom, there's a uh, an eight tooth gear uh, with some spaces on either side of it on a one by four axle, uh, just to kind of keep it in the middle. You don't want your chain uh, one side or the other of the track. You want it right there in the middle. So basically, the setup is pretty much what you see here: an eight tooth gear with some spacers on an axle, and that's all it really is. At the top, a similar story, another eight tooth gear right here on this axle that receives it. Kind of helps in that transition at the top uh, going down. And then it's got a 24 tooth gear, which is actually the drive gear. That 24 tooth gear fits really well on the chain. And uh, that's what's driving it with the crank that you see here. And I don't like the, the gray elements. I ran out of the white elements. I need to get those so uh, this doesn't um, stick out so much. But, uh, but yeah, fairly simple design. Here's another look at it without the... Uh, track in the way you can kind of see how it all works fairly easy now and you can definitely see why i want that axle at the top here it really helps with that transition because chains don't really like those abrupt 90 degree angles now obviously guys i would love to automate this uh, my challenge is going to be how do i get the power to it i have a speed regulator uh, that uh, obviously pow powers my ferris wheel and my uh, fairground mixer i got to find a way to i don't know carry that power to this one. It'd be really cool to have the speed regulator operate those uh, three rides all at once. It'd be pretty, uh, quite the sight, I think. But um, I'll figure it out. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to end up, but um, uh, I, I definitely want to get this thing uh, automated somehow. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, that is the, uh, the update. So enjoy some shots of this thing in action. All right, before I sign off, I do want to show the roller coaster back in its spot in the amusement park. Here it is. It's looking pretty darn good. Uh, and uh, I like the, the new upgrade to it. You can see why I uh, want to automate this because there's, there's no way I can reach that crank where I'm at. It's just a, in a bad spot. But just for fun, let's go ahead and see if it works in its new location here. Sweet. It's always nice to see something you build work, you know. 
All right, guys. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for checking it out. As always, we've got a lot of new, exciting stuff in the works, so stay tuned for that. Until then, you guys enjoy your day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.